are how to solve inverse functions. In this video, I will teach you step by step on how to solve this type of question and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you would like to improve in your MS skills, Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. Let's take a look at the first question. For question number 1, if fx is equal to 2x plus 3, find the value of inverse of f4. So first of all, we let y to be equal to f negative 1 4. So therefore, fy is equal to 4. So let's look back at the question. When this is x, this will be x. When this is y, this will be y. So therefore, 2y plus 3 equals to 4. And next, we have to make y as a subject because y is the inverse of fx. So it will be 2y equals to, shift the 3 over, become 4 minus 3. So 2y equals to 1. So y equals to 1 over 2. So therefore, f negative 1, 4 is equals to 1 over 2. So that's the final answer. For question number 2, if fx is equal to x plus 2 over x minus 3, whereby x is not equal to 3, find the inverse function of fx. So firstly, we let y equals to f negative 1x. Therefore, f y is equals to x. So let's look at the question. When this is x, this is x and this is x. When this is y, this is y and this is y. So therefore, y plus 2 over y minus 3 equals to x. Okay. Next, we're going to make y as a subject. So we shift this y minus 3 over to the right hand side and we bring down the y plus 2. So x bracket y minus 3. Okay, next we expand this bracket, so it become x, y minus 3x and we bring down the y plus 2. And then we group the ones with the y to one side, so equals x, y minus y. And then here we bring down the 2 and negative 3x shift over to the left hand side become plus 3x. Okay, and next we factorize the y, so it become x minus 1, so here will be 2 plus 3x. Okay, so equals, we want to make y as a subject. So we have to shift this over to the left hand side, become 2 plus 3x over x minus 1. And then we swap this around because I want my y to be on the left hand side. So 2 plus 3x over x minus 1. And therefore, my inverse fx is equal to 2 plus 3x over x minus 1, whereby x is not equal to 1. That's the final answer. For question number 3, given hx is equal to 4x minus 5 and gx is equal to 8x minus 3, find g h negative 1x. So first we work out the inverse function of h negative 1. So therefore, we put let y equals to h negative 1x and then this h negative 1 we shift over to the left side become hy equals to x. So let's look at the question. When this is x, this is x. When this is y, this is y. So therefore, 4y minus 5 equals to x. And then we make y as a subject, okay? Because y is the inverse of hx. So y equals to x plus, it's a negative 5 here, you shift over, become plus 5. And then 4y means 4 times y. When we shift the 4 over, it becomes divided by 4. Okay? So therefore, the inverse of hx is equals to x plus 5 over 4. And next, we can work out the composite function of g h negative 1x. So g h negative 1x is equals to g of h negative 1x. Okay, so just now we already found this answer. We're going to sub this over into here. So g of x plus 5 over 4 in bracket 
Okay, so let's look back at the question. Gx is 8x minus 3. When this is x, this is x. Okay, when this is x plus 5 over 4, so when this is x plus 5 over 4, here will be x plus 5 over 4. So it will be 8 bracket x plus 5 over 4 and minus 3. Okay, so equals. So the 4 and 8 we can cancel. Here 1, here 2. So it will be 2x plus 10 minus 3. So we get 2x plus 7. So that's the answer. Well, that's all for now. Do you understand what you have learned today? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys will keep on learning, keep on practicing and keep on watching my videos and I hope to see you guys in my next videos. Bye guys!